Now that we're into July, it's time to really get moving. So we're gonna try to break up the tasks of the build and do things simultaneously. So Fiona is back here working on putting some coats of epoxy on, uh, on the actual shell and prepping the transom. Um, okay, so we put the, we're putting the transom on here. So we've gotta stitch it all in. First I have to fit it and then stitch it in. Um, and then from the other side, I have to climb in and poke it back out this way and then we can stitch them tight like these ones so we get a really nice fit. Going in. Bui and I are working on the, uh, the trailer. So we just got the trailer in the mail and it came in a bunch of really heavy boxes. And so we're gonna put that together and uh, see how it looks. I think it's the last big fiberglass job. Is it? It's the last big one? Yeah. Last big one. We've got the whole team here today, including Bowie. And we're gonna do the the bottom of the trailer. Bowie's really excited. Bowie's really excited. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna do the bottom of the trailer. We have the we have the trailer flipped over on its on its uh, roof, and we're gonna do um, two overlapping layers of glass that are gonna wrap around the corner and join the glass we put on the shell. So this should make the whole thing fully encapsulated in fiberglass, so it's super, super strong. And after this, it's really just small fiberglass jobs, so we feel like we're on the home stretch. been working on the doors for a little bit. I figured I'd show you what they look like. This is a door. Um, the doors are cut out of the main shell and, and it's actually a pretty thin plywood. Even with the glass, it's a little bit flexible. So to make the, the, the doors stiffer, you have to add these elements here. This is called a door stiffener. And then this is a little kind of a stiffener that goes in with the window. And it's sort of a complicated part because You've got to be careful not to change the shape of the door, otherwise it won't fit back into the shell. Um, and apparently that's an issue that a bunch of people have had in the past. Um, I don't know if we're going to have that issue yet, hopefully not. But uh, yeah, so almost done with these. I'm going to put a, a fresh coat of epoxy over the whole thing, sand them some more, but um, they're coming along quite well and I'm excited to uh, put them on the hinges and get them installed. closer to the end of the build and we actually are getting pretty close. This is the book and you can see this is about where we're at and we ripped a bunch of pages out too so we're even closer than that. But as we get closer we're starting to talk about things like how to mount it on the trailer, the paint job, the electrical system, all these types of details. And we have two things we wanted to, to talk to the audience you guys about um, that we've been thinking about. First is the paint job. So there's a lot of different things we could do with this. We could leave it just wood, which would be beautiful, but our concern is that it's going to get really hot. So we're thinking about maybe doing some type of white paint, but also combining the wood. Um, so Because we really love the color of wood, so we want to have wood in there. But we're wondering what you think, and, and maybe you can put your suggestions in the comments below and let us know what kind of paint job you think we should do. The second thing has to do with um, the general layout of the teardrop on the, the trailer. And trailers, for anyone that you know rides and drives with trailers, they're kind of annoying. Um, 
So we're, we really want to take advantage of all the space we have on the trailer since we're going to take one. And having just a bed and a kitchen on a trailer seems limited. So one idea we had was to try to come up with ways that we could have more storage. And the main reason we need this is when we're on the road and we're filming and doing projects, we have gear everywhere. Um, we'll have tripods, drones, and cameras, clothing, extra batteries, helicon cases. It just makes a huge mess. So having enough space to kind of compartmentalize and put everything would be really, really useful. So one idea we had was to put the entire teardrop on a box. So basically to build a box on the trailer that has two big sliding drawers and, and then putting the teardrop on top of that. The problem is it's going to elevate um, the teardrop about 10 inches higher off the trailer, which is going to make it hard to reach the galley. But we think we can work around this with some stairs. Um, but again, we're curious to see what you think, um, what kind of solutions you have. Um, we're probably in the next episode going to dive into if we, if we build the box, that's going to be the beginning of the next episode. Um, but we're still going to give ourselves a couple more days to decide, and we're really curious to hear what you think. So please comment below, let us know what you think. Paint, storage, we want your ideas, and then we're going to get after it right away. Goodbye.